The Data Cloud Diaries, using data actions to send platform events to Salesforce. Welcome back to the Data Cloud Diaries. Over these videos, we've walked through many of the different facets of Data Cloud, walking through how to bring the data in, how it comes in as data lake objects, and then we send it into data model objects, DMOs. We've also looked at things like calculated insights, streaming insights, segmentation, and identity resolution. But what happens if there's a change in data cloud, data cloud data that's in a separate location than your Salesforce org, and you want to be able to send that some of that data back to Salesforce to act on it, let's say in a flow or a trigger. And so I'm showing you the mechanism where we can have something listening in data cloud called a data action. And when it detects a specific data action, it can communicate with your Salesforce org through a platform event. And so I'm gonna walk you through the end to end data coming in to data cloud, coming into the data stream, the data, data lake, data model. And then I'm gonna show you data actions that with a data action target that are listening and then throw in an event. And we're gonna catch that event in our standard Salesforce core org. So it's gonna be an end to end and I'm gonna walk you through what that takes. So data could be streaming in large amounts of data, streaming into your data cloud or going through all the processes we've worked for. And now you can be listening for some kind of a change back in your Salesforce core org. So we're gonna do a little high level walkthrough and I'm gonna take you through that we have what's called an ingestion API. So I went to data cloud setup, set up into this ingestion API and it's for airport traffic. And we've talked about this in many other videos that I'm using airport traffic coming in real time if I'd like it from airports. So we've got this ingestion API. And then the next step is we have a data stream. And here is a data stream which maps to that data coming in. So instead of reading through, let's say an Amazon S3 bucket, I'm actually doing a push mechanism where I'm pushing the data through the ingestion API. And I've shown you in past videos that I can push it singularly in small blocks of records. And I can also push it in large blocks using um, its version of the data cloud bulk API. So currently, we're going to look at this number. We're at 189,384. So we'll just focus in on the 384. These are how many records I have pushed into this API. Now, what we've got is in the data model, we have the DMO. We already have a DLO, data lake object. Um, I can show you that. So you hear we're going to have um, data lake objects, and what we're gonna have is these data model objects. So the data lake objects are defined by the data stream. Here are the data properties. And then we've mapped them to the data model objects. And here's my DMO. Okay, so this is my data model object for my airport traffic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how we can take actions inside of data cloud, data actions, records created, records edited, and we can then send those over to Salesforce. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, first thing you do is create what's called a data action target. And I created one that is targeted towards a platform event. So we'll start one, but I'll show you the one I've already created. If we hit new, it's gonna, we'll just go test. And we just choose. We are going to, it can either be a platform event where it's doing a push onto the event bus or a webhook where it needs to be registered for an endpoint. We're going to, today is about a Salesforce platform event. And that you don't even choose the platform event. And I'll show you where, how I've discovered which platform event it is. So you don't get to choose it. It's not a custom platform event, it's a specific standard platform event. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And what I've created is a platform event target in a specific org. And right now I have a single Salesforce org linked to this data cloud instance. I could have met multiple. Now, so that's the first step. Step one, create the data action target. Step two, you're gonna create a data action. 
And here I've created a data action where what we've got is let's walk through and we're going to edit it and take a look at the data action. So what we've got is the first, these are tabs. The first step is pick your target. So I'm going to take my data action and send it to a platform event. Two, you got to decide what you're going to listen for. I've chosen in my data space to listen to my arrow traffic object. So I'm listening on this particular DMO, data model object. Then what I'm going to do is have some rules. And so I'm going to say I chose when record is created. You could also do updated or deleted. I created some conditions. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the data. So we're going to open up one of my sample source files. And these aren't actually the source. The source is the live API. But I've been streaming them to the CSVs in my bulk data load. And this is showing you some of the data in an easy to, to, to scan. You'll see that there is a traffic type de departure. And then there is the data that I'm bringing in. So what I want to do is I've set a condition record created when all conditions are met where the traffic type is a departure. So I want to know any departures leaving Phoenix as they are created. So that's a very simple condition. And then you can just give it a name and you can save and publish. So what we have is a very straightforward action listening for new departure records. And when it finds them, it's going to send platform events. So what we're going to do is the best way to see platform events is with the streaming monitor. And so if you all go to uh, App Exchange, Streaming Monitor, the Streaming Monitor is a great thing by Salesforce Labs that will allow you to see platform events in real time. So what I've got right here is this is the streaming monitor. I'm going to refresh so you see it fresh. And what you do is it is lives inside the browser instance. So it's going to, the browser has to be open for the streaming monitor. We're going to subscribe to a channel. And the great thing about this tool is it can subscribe across a variety of push topics, generic events, standard platform events, custom platform events, even CDC events. What I have discovered is that when you send these data actions, they go to standard platform events. And I've discovered that they go to data object data change events. So this is the kind of the secret sauce is knowing that it's a standard platform event, data object, data change event. Now I want to see some past events. So I'm going to do replay past events and we're going to subscribe. And what we're doing is we're subscribing to the event bus in this org. And you'll see that I've got 27 pre-existing platform events using the replay ID, using the replay ID of past events. These are on a timeline. And if I hover over them and click, I can see arrow traffic data coming by. So these are platform events that are hitting my standard Salesforce core org that are generated by a data action event. So I can start to click and see these. Now these pl standard platform events, I could wire in a flow, a trigger, and be able to have actions taken in Salesforce core org based on data changes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch it in action. So we're currently listening to the streaming API. We've had a replay ID of 27 past events. And that's one key number. And we come over to our data stream. I'm going to refresh. And we see 384. So what I'm going to do is I've been using in Visual Studio Code a little program that is going to, as you've seen in past videos, it's C Sharp. It's going to make a call out to the Flight API. And then it's going to then push it to the Data Cloud Ingest API. So it's going to do an insert into the Data Cloud, immediate insert. This is code I've wrote and I've shown it in past videos. We're going to set up a new time. So I was sending 23, 
December 7th at 1400. We're going to send in data at 1500 coming in from Phoenix. This is going to be sending, a, this is going to be arriving a 10 minute window of arrivals and departures at this particular time. This is data I have not yet retrieved before. What we're going to do is we're going to save this and we're going to run. So we're going to run the 10 minute window on that date. And we're going to watch the debug. And there, now it's flying. And here you'll see it made the call for Phoenix. It found 18 records. Then it's doing the post into my data cloud instance. And you'll see the confirmation from data cloud right there that the data was accepted. So now what we're going to be doing is it takes a little bit of a delay to get in. So look at the um, 18384. We're going to refresh. That is going to have changed in a few minutes. And then we're going to go to the streaming monitor and we're going to watch for these 27 platform events. And at some moment, the data is going to be ingested. The data is going to be processed to a DMO and then it'll trigger the data activation. So I'm going to pause the video and restart it as soon as I see the platform event. Oh, and you can see that it just registered event on the event channel. And you'll note it only took about three or four minutes. You'll also notice that my events went from 27 to 36. So now we have additional events have clicked in and I can click here and see these. Now I'm gonna refresh on my, you'll see that this is 189.384. Let's see that jump. Yeah, all right, it hasn't registered on the data stream. So it's already come in, hasn't registered on the status of the data stream here, but it has come in on the streaming monitor and this has now jumped. So we now have processed end to end. The data started outside of Salesforce, was pulled through an API, 18 records were pushed in. It came in on the data ingestion API and made it through the data stream and then it made it to the DMO, and then it made it to the data action, which led it to the streaming monitor. So this came in, ingested, processed, and then made its way to Salesforce. And we can take a look at that by looking at the data time frame that I had sent in, December 7th at 1500. And what we're gonna be doing is we're looking at the streaming monitor. We're going to the last, last block of streaming events. And we're going to look inside and we see the arrival revised time was 12.7 at 1554. And so what we've got is a matter of minutes, the data came into the streaming API, was ingested, processed, and then sent out as a data action. We can also look at this streaming event platform this platform event and looking at this data i see a particular flight in here n707 ev so there is a particular flight number that are that we have as a departure i can go to my data explorer and i've set up my traffic time and you'll notice this is the dates on 127 and we're going to look for the flight n707 ev and so what we can see is the data has streamed in and has gone back out to Salesforce. So you've just seen the end-to-end -end flow, the data coming in from an external API being fed in, being processed, and then using a data action target, the platform event, the data action with the filter, or the I think we had the departures. Um, and then what you do is you have, I have the streaming monitor listening inside of my Salesforce core org, which is a different space than data cloud, catching those platform events and taking an action. So that is a really neat round trip in and then back out and be able to act on it. Hope this is helpful. Thank you for sending events. Join me again, same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe, www.stevetechark.com and Steve Tech Arc YouTube channel. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much.